Hi, Dr. T.J. Dixon, your intuitive guide to transformation, connecting to your best life. Today's message is about staying present and expecting wonder. Now, stay present, expect wonder. These have been two recurring messages I've been receiving lately in meditation. Stay present, expect wonder. And I got to thinking, God, what does that mean? What does that mean and why am I getting these messages right now? So I thought I would share this video with you because perhaps this is something that can be helpful to you too. So let's start with stay present. One of the reasons why I've been told lately to stay present is because oftentimes my mind will float off into the future and I'm starting to stress out about something that hasn't even happened yet. And it may not even happen the way I think it might happen. And so instead of me being right here, right here in my body, in my skin, in this moment, I am a week out, two weeks out, and I'm in another place in time and I'm stressed out and I'm, I'm missing everything going on around me or I'm only partly here. So staying present, it has helped me to reduce my worries and stress significantly because when I try to go off two weeks from now, the question I have for myself is, what are you supposed to be doing right now? Where are you supposed to be right now? And so it helps to reduce my stress and my anxiety when I stay present. The other thing that it does is it helps me to enjoy whatever's going on right now. Enjoy it. In this current moment, I am recording videos. And I am here in my office, sitting on my couch, recording a video for you. That is where I'm supposed to be. I'm not supposed to be thinking about, oh, uh, my class coming up on Wednesday, or my client that I'm going to see on Thursday, or the coaching I'm going to do next week, I'm not, you know, later on in the week. I'm not supposed to be thinking about that, or this really cool show that I like watching on um, tonight. I'm, that is not what I'm supposed to be thinking about. I'm supposed to be right here, present, relaying this message to you. And so I get to enjoy this, and I am really enjoying this. I'm enjoying being back in front of the camera. I had been on a little bit of a hiatus because there were so many things going on, um, and I was doing quite a bit of traveling. And so now I'm finally kind of settled back down, and I'm back behind, back in front of the camera, and I am enjoying it. I am staying present and I am right here. So it helps me to really enjoy. And I think the, the, the third thing that staying present has really helped me do is to build faith. Because when I can stay in this present moment and not worry and enjoy it, then whatever that future thing is that I'm concerned with, I can let go and let God. I know that that is a cliche, but it is a really good one. I can let go and trust that whatever it needs to be, I will be ready for it. God's got it. God's got me. And it's going to be fine. Because you know what? This present moment I'm in right now was the future a day ago, an hour ago. It was the future a week ago. And so if I had have been a week ago worried about this today, I'm losing out on what happened a week ago. And guess what? Today is great. Being, behind, being in front of the camera again is great. Recording, great. So it's helped me to build faith and just stay right here in the right now. And then just enjoy this moment. And that kind of leads me into... Expect wonder. It's like, expect wonder. God, what, what, expect wonder, what is that? You know, when we stay present, there are so many wonderful, teeny tiny, itty bitty, big, little, small things that go on. When you can expect wonder. It's like, look for the good in the current moment. Look for the thing that's kind of like, wow in the current moment. And because we're always looking for the big showy thing, 
because our attention spans are so short sometimes. We don't even understand the wonder is that is in the present moment. So right now I'm sitting here and I'm recording. And you know the wonder that I'm experiencing right now is the quiet that I hear is so quiet right now. And my office is located here in my home and there are quite a few people and pups in this house. And it's very rare to hear the quiet, <laughs> the wonder of the quiet here. So here, here it is, I'm experiencing wonder. It's me, the camera, and the noise that I can hear in the background is, is wonderful for me. I hear one of the dogs kind of snoring and the, um, the hum of the heater in my room. That's it. And there's wonder in that because I love the quiet and the stillness. It just kind of renews me. Now, if I'm thinking about what's going on next week or later on this week, I've missed all of that. So in the present moment, there are these really cool things to be grateful for. So stay, so staying present and then expecting wonder, and with expecting wonder, there's so many things for me to find to be grateful for. So many things to find to be grateful for. The other thing is, is that sometimes there's these really cool, quirky things that go on when, when we expect wonder. I'll give you kind of an example. Last week I was really kind of debating. I had to, to do, take an out-of-town road trip. Um, go to a town not far from, from where I am, uh, a city not far from where I am. But I had the opportunity of, of getting on a van. Um, I found out the night before that I really didn't need to drive. I could, well, I didn't need to drive to the, to the city. I could just drive across town in my city and catch the van to go to the other city. And I found this out kind of late, and I debated back and forth. Should I do it? Should I not do it? Because I was trying to figure out, well, maybe it would be best for me to be dropped off instead of me taking my car and leaving it across town. What's the point? And then having someone to pick me up. And so I was like, man, i got to coordinate schedules because maybe my husband could take me, my daughter could pick me up. And then I finally thought, you know what, it's just too much. I'm just going to go ahead and drive because that's what I had planned anyway. I didn't even know I had the option of taking this, this van until now. And I kind of worried about it a little bit and debated in my head a little bit about it. And I just said, you know what, I'm just going to go with this. Forget it. So then I kept feeling this message, just expect wonder, just expect wonder. And I'm like, expect wonder with driving. So I ended up driving and it ended up being the absolute best choice I could have made because I got back. First of all, I got back sooner because the van had to drop off so many people to catch their cars for them to them to take back to wherever they were from and then it still needed to go back to pick up other workers before they could leave that city so i got back earlier and then the other thing was for me it was just wonderful being in my vehicle after the event because the event was very um emotional and it was very one it was it was wonderful and amazing, and I really needed to just be by myself in my vehicle, kind of just enjoying music on the way home and just kind of processing all of that. And so the expect wonder was, is how wonderful it would be for me to be alone to process after being at such an event. And I had never been to this type of event before, so I wasn't sure what to expect. So even in the mundane things, like making a decision to drive myself, expect wonder. So I say that to you, um, you know, when you're expecting wonder, there is gratitude that you have there. There is joy. Oh, and one other thing with that is also faith in knowing that God will show up and bless you in ways that you don't expect when you that you're not even looking for when you're expecting wonder. I didn't realize when I made the decision to drive that that was the best decision I could have made because I didn't know that the van would be 
It probably wasn't delayed for the person driving the van, but I would have thought it was delayed had I been the person riding in the van because I would have thought the van would have left way sooner than it did. So here it was for me that I expected wonder. I was told to expect wonder because when God is in something, you always get these really cool bonuses and really neat things that go on that you just simply don't even know is going to happen. Because when God shows up, it's like, you know, you get in the greatest gift, these really awesome gifts. And not only do you get the awesome gift, you get the super cool bow put on it. Or like God shows up and you think you're getting ice cream, but you're actually getting a sundae with nuts, whipped cream and a cherry on top, you know. So expecting wonder. So letting go, letting God Again, that cliche, but also expecting wonder in that letting go and letting God. What is what kind of really cool thing that you don't even know that's going to show up? What can you expect? What kind of wonder? What kind of joy? What kind of gratitude are you going to get when you trust God and let the unfolding of your life happen? So that's been my messages lately. Stay present. Expect wonder. And it has been serving me quite well. And so I've just wanted to get on here and share that with you so that maybe if this message resonates for you, maybe for you, stay present and expect wonder. Why? Because it may help you to live your best life, just like it's helping me to live my best life right now. Thank you so much for watching. And if you need to contact me, you're looking for any services or looking for a journal or the book Walking in Faith. Check out the links below. Take care of yourself. Stay present. Expect wonder. And may you live your best life.